Hi, I'm Fiona from Kids Club English and this video is for teachers who are looking for engaging activities to use with Meg and Mog. By the end of this video, you'll have lots of inspiration for the kind of activities that you might like to create yourself and you'll also know exactly what's in this pack. So um, if you like what you see, um, you'll be able to get a copy yourself at kidsclubenglish.com and the link is in the description below. Um, so there are three things you need to know um, before we get started. Uh, every template is available in black and white or colour. Um, every resource includes several variations, so several different templates, and that's so that you can choose exactly what you need for your context, for your age of learners, for their abilities, and for the different skills that, that you're working on. Um, lastly, every resource includes different activity suggestions, um, so they're just full of different ideas for the kind of games you can play before the activity, different uh, ways that you can conduct the activity, and different ideas for what you can do afterwards. And all of that is there to increase interaction and to maximise the language practice. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we've got the front cover there. Then we've got contents, help you find what you need, a possible language focus of all the things you could focus on in this story. Now they've got not numbers jigsaw, so there's versions of 1 to 10 with the numerals. Um, there are two different images you can choose from. Then we've got the ones that are 1 to 20, so these could be good for five-year-olds and up. And the numbers in word form as well as the numerals. Then the find and stick craft, so here you can see that um, the, you've got a picture of a cauldron and the students need to listen um, or ask you for the different elements that they need to put in their cauldron to make their spell. Mm. Okay, and then we've got bingo games and craft, so you can either print and just play these. So they're smaller boards with um, only six items. These focus on the clothes and the animals that are in the story. Um, we also have boards that are bigger with 12 items. Okay, so you've got all the different animals and clothes in there. Um, and then we'll move on to the blank boards so they can create their own bingo game. So you can create two activities in one really with this. Then the stick puppets. So these include the animals, the characters, different story events. Um, so these are really great for retelling. And then matching cards, so these are like basic jigsaws they can cut in half. Um, uh, we've got the, the Halloween vocabulary as well as the clothes, the animals and the food that comes up in the story here. These mini cards are great for playing lots of different games and they come in American English as well as British English. And then we've got all those images in flashcard form, so they're in um, A5 and in A4 just to make it easy for you to print those. Okay, so there's a lot there to that really ties in really well with Halloween, but at the same time, they get to focus on food and clothes vocabulary. Okay. So, there you have it. I hope you've got lots of inspiration for activities that you might want to create yourself. Um, and if you like what you saw, you can take a closer look on kidsclubenglish.com. The link is in the description below. You'll also find lots of um, songs and other resources to help you in your teaching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you'd like to hear about other resources and also our teaching tip series. Okay, thank you for watching.